Hi, my name is Ryan Price, and I've been a Drupal user for a number of years now. When I'm building a Drupal site, there's one module that I absolutely cannot do without, and it's the Views module. In this video, I'm going to give you a short description of what the Views module is good for, and then I'm going to show you how to create a view that creates a custom page on your website with a list of content and also a block with shorter titles of just the content. Views is the number one most downloaded module from Drupal.org. It's basically a flexible way to let you take just about any content out of your Drupal site and display it in almost any way you can think of. If you think about it like that one scene from The Matrix, I need guns. Lots and lots of guns. In that case, there was the hero asking for guns. And what he really was saying is, give me some content of type guns and bring them here and display them on these racks. In HTML terms, that might be display all this information in a table. Let's go ahead and pull out something from views right now. In this example, I've got a basic Drupal 7 site that I just started up and generated some Latin content for, and my content types are called battery and gun. Now what I want to do is install the views module and to do that I'm just going to head over to my modules screen. Um, in order to install views you'll need the chaos tools library, the views module, and the views user interface module. Very important if you want to create views the way that we'll be doing right now all three of these modules need to be installed. Okay, and now that that's done I want to go ahead and make sure that I have given my administrators the proper permissions to administer whatever it is they need to do with views and the basic ones are administer views and then bypass views access control right now the only one you need to worry about is administer views views itself exposes all of its administration functions under the structure menu it creates a new item called views and this is something you may be visiting a lot so you might want to just go ahead and add this to your default shortcuts when you get here, you'll notice that the views gives you a number of default views that you can play with out of the box, or you can do what we're going to do, which is to install a new view. And in this case, I want to call my view lots of guns. And now you'll notice that this has chosen a English name and a machine name. You don't normally need to worry about this. And if you want, you can give a description like for when you need to blow up some machines and then it asks you what kind of content would you like to show um, content which are the nodes on your site comments files we're gonna stick with content and then of what type and like I said we've got two different types we want a gun type and then it says tagged with what so if you have a specific tag that you want to pull out here you certainly can sorted by newest first oldest first title or unsorted I'll go ahead and stick with newest first for now um, and then it says create a page. I'm going to call my page I need guns. And then the path, I think I'm just going to call the path guns. And then it says how do you want to display your guns? Do you want them to be in a list or how about in a table? And then in the table it'll say it's a table of fields and then it'll ask you later what fields you want. Um, how many items do you want to display at a time? 10 will be fine for just now. Do you want there to be a pager at the bottom? That is to say, do you want it to say page one, page two, page three, each one with 10 things on it? Um, you can also create a menu link for this, which I think we will certainly do. I'm gonna stick this in the main menu and it'll say lots of guns. Let's say this, I need guns. And then you can also have an RSS feed. Every time you publish a new gun, it could update the feed. Um, last but not least, it'll say do you want to create a block? And then here the block says lots of guns. In what format? List is going to be fine in this case. You'll see what this all means later of titles linked and then how many of them would you like to show? That's fine. I'm going to right now save and exit and then we'll come back to this screen in a minute. So once we have saved this and everything is going through nicely, you'll see that it takes you right to the page that you just made. See here, there's my menu item that says I need guns. And then here's my view itself. The page is titled I need guns. You see up to here the browser page is titled I need guns. 
and then these are 10 of the 20 or so guns on my site and I've got a pager so I can click on page two. It'll take me over to page two and it can show me 10 more guns. And then page three, it could show me another couple of guns here. Now you see in Drupal 7, you get a way to edit your view. So you can just do that from right there in the interface. And it'll take you back here and show you sort of like the guts of your view. This is where it gets a little bit interesting because you can do so many things from this interface, but it's designed to sort of give you a heads up of what's going on, what content is being pulled out, how it's being displayed, how it's being filtered and sorted, and just try to keep it really simple. So these are all the questions you answered. It's I need guns, you want them displayed in a table. The initial field that brings in is just the title. The filter criteria is are the guns, is that content published? and is it a type of gun, then sorted by post date, which is, we said we wanted newest first. And so that's post date descending order. The path is guns. It has a menu item called I need guns. Um, anyone who can view content on your website can access this. And then it says use a pager that uh, is the full sized pager, 10 items. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about your view page right there. Now, when you wanna start making new decisions about how you want to display things, then you'll start adding things on. Example, you can add another field. So let's say we wanted to add, for example, the date that the, the gun was published on the site. You could scroll down and see this giant list of all different things you can use, or you can use this filter box here to just show you things that are related to content on your site. And then you could try to find um, the publish date. So there it is, post date, and you say apply. And now it asks you some questions. Do you want this to have a particular label? Post date is gonna be fine for me. And um, just get the other settings for now and just say apply. And so now it'll tell me here, title and post date, and it actually gives you a live preview of what your view will look like once you save it. It's very important to note that while you see this little yellow message up here, Nothing has been published to your website just yet, but that's why they give you the preview so you can kind of check out and make sure that everything that you want is there. Like right now, for example, there's no title above here. So I can click here on the title and then say, I want this to have a label of title. Very simple. And now the title shows up. So once I've made all the changes that I want to make, then I can save my view, and then it will take me back to where I just was when the overlay closes down, and now you can see I've got two columns, title and post date. Something else we might wanna do is perhaps filter these guns by a particular type. So when we want to add a filter criteria here, um, basically it's saying, I only wanna see the black guns, or I only wanna see the guns that are bigger than a certain size. And in this case, I've got a vocabulary on my site that's called tags. There's the tags, and I'm gonna add this filter to my display. It says, would you like this to be a drop-down menu or an autocomplete? I'm gonna say a drop-down. And then it asks me, which type of gun do you wanna show? And so I'm gonna choose this one. Now it's only showing me guns that have been tagged with this particular term, of which there are two. Now when I click save, it'll take me back to the interface and it will, I know only those two guns will show up. The last thing I wanna show you really quickly is how do you display the block from your view. And you go to your blocks interface, structure, blocks, this is another good one if you wanna add this to your default shortcut set. And then you look down here in your disabled blocks and you'll see that there is a block, it's prefixed with view and then the view name, lots of guns. So I'm just gonna take this, throw this in the sidebar first and save the page. And now once I close my overlay, it'll take me back to the front end and refresh the page for me. And you will see the lots of guns view that shows me a title and a post date for the two guns that I have chosen to filter. 
Now you may say, ah, oh, but I don't want to see those fields and I don't want to have it filtered that way. How can I do that? So again, we will go back and edit our view. And in this case, I'm editing now a different display. There was a page display. Now we're editing a block display. Here what I want to do is I want to start overriding how these two displays behave. So I can turn off the label, but if I push this button right now, you see it says apply to all displays. What I really want to do is only apply it to this block view. And as soon as I do this, all of the field settings for this block have now become unique. So when I go and edit something for the post date, that is also only for this block. And what I want to do in this case is maybe remove that field. And the last thing I want to do here is under the tags, I would also like to override this one and say remove it. And so now when I get my list on my block, you'll see the five most recent guns instead of just those two that I filtered. Now you can come up with your own reasons for wanting to use this, but that's a really basic way of using views and we'll be going over some more examples in future videos.